Hi, I am making this video for all users who do not have access to an iOS device like an iPhone. With the changes Microsoft has made to their Windows operating system starting with Windows 8.1 and continuing on to Windows 10, they have made it difficult to connect to an ad hoc network. This is required to provision the Wi-Fi thermostat from radio thermostat to your network. This video will guide you through the steps to provision your thermostat to the network. The example we will be using is with Windows 10 and Chrome, but it will work with Windows 8.1 and any other browser you choose. Please note, this solution will work for most of you, but there are some systems that may not work because of hardware limitations. So let's get started. We're going to open our uh, Chrome browser here. and we're going to go to lizardsystems.com Wi-Fi scanner. And this is the package we're going to use to allow us to connect to an ad hoc network. So we need to go ahead and download it. Please note it is a free package. There is a 10-day trial, and then you can register it if you wish, if you want to use it further. Um, it is totally free, though. The registration is free for uh, home users. Okay, now we're at the network scanner. We're going to go ahead and click Download. It's going to download the setup program to my computer. Once it's completed, go ahead and click on that. It's going to ask you to um, whether you want to run this or not. We're going to go ahead and say yes. And now we have the Wi-Fi wi scanner wizard. So we'll go ahead and click next to install it. I'm going to accept the licensing, click next. And I'm going to leave it in the default location. It's up to you whether you want to change that or not. I don't want a desktop icon, but most people like that, so it's on their desktop, easy to find. Next. So now we're ready to go. We're going to install it. And we're going to go ahead and launch the Wi-Fi scanner. Right now, I'm going to uh, not go ahead and license it. I'll license it later. And I'm going to click Continue. This is the Wi-Fi scanner window. And as you can see, there's a bunch of networks, uh, Wi-Fi networks around my area and in my house. Uh, I'm in the office here. So we are looking for the thermostat network, which is this one right here. Now, your thermostat has to be uh, up and running, obviously. Um, you should have a yellow blinking light and a five-digit pin in the corner. So what we want to do is we want to connect to that network. So we highlight it and click on it. And then you'll see up here there's a little lightning bolt, and that's to connect. Once I clicked on that, it asked me do I want to connect to this wireless network, and I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Okay, so it says my scan is no longer active. My network connection to the printer has been lost. Because the Wi-Fi thermostat network is a local network and not attached to the Internet, I am no longer have access to things on the Internet at this point. Okay, so now we are connected to that. And to verify that, if you look at your Wi-Fi networks in the corner here, you can see that we're connected to the thermostat network and it's ready to go. So we're going to minimize this window and we're going to open a web browser and in the browser line we're going to go ahead and type in 192.168.10.1 and go ahead and get that. That's the address to the thermostat. Okay, now we're talking to the thermostat now and it asking us if we want to scan for wireless networks. Of course we do. Now it's going to scan your area and come up with the wireless networks. Uh, I've got several of them, so it's going to take a few minutes. All right, so here are the different wireless networks there are on my system. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this one here. 
and then you enter your password for your network, whatever your password happens to be. So we're going to go ahead and enter that. And then we're going to click Next. Okay, now it wants to have the five-digit pin off the thermostat. So you need to look at the thermostat. These sometimes change. This number will be different for you than it is for me. Okay, now once you put that in, you're going to go ahead and click Next. So once you click next, you got another screen that says connecting to the wireless network. And what your thermostat will do is it'll probably beep, it'll go beep, 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 beep. And then it will come up with a uh, green flashing light or, or a solid green light depending on the thermostat you're using. And it will also come up with the IP address. Now it's just going to come up with the last octet. So the first three octets are um, your uh, router's IP and the last two is the IP of the actual thermostat, or last three of the IP of the actual thermostat. So it may have one to three digits in the top left hand corner. You'll want to note this if you're going to be doing registration to the cloud on a PC. Um, if you're going to be doing it with your Android device then you will not need that. If there are any other topics you would like to have uh, videos done for, please leave that in the comments area. We'll try to get them out as soon as possible. We thank you for your attention and uh, see you next time.